developing the studio is that knowing, for, knowing the fact that there's no way no way whatsoever that I can just be so popular like that I guess what people don't realize what's coming down the art and music and everything else they're going for that kind of stuff takes time and also from you it takes a lot of dedication perseverance everything possible to achieve what you want I say it's been only four months since the studio's been developed, and I have to say it's been really good. I mean, I'm not expecting it to go way to the top that fast. And what I think about the Weaver Street Blues project is that even though all three of the guys have mad experience in music, and they spend most of their lives on it, and that's something to appreciate. Now, there comes a time where, yeah, most bands that I've seen, you know, they get together and they and they go on their separate ways. And one thing I hope from the Weezer Street Blues Project is that I hope they stay together and do the blues and help get more and more crowds and audiences to help them be well known. Now, I, for one thing, say that TF Studios is big big part of the band because I'm always there to help them out as they are to help me so, so it's really important that like when it comes down to art and things like that it's good for people to come together with new ideas and new aspects on uh, help keep the unity together I was hoping the same for my studio I would I would say I would like the people to help me out you know what I mean, from designs or whatever they need. So I too can bring something to the table. And that's something you have to take into consideration, especially when the years to come. No matter what road, I want to take in the studio. And same thing with the Weaver Street Blues Project. They have a road ahead of them, and it's up to them whether they want to continue on that road. Another thing that I've learned from watching the Weaver Street Blues Project play in the music is that it also allowed me to open my eyes and my ears to new things and also learn to appreciate what music was back in the day now I mentioned in my last video or videos before was that you gotta learn to appreciate the music back then especially f for the race that I am there's some things you can't really take for granted now fortunately uh, I basically became a fan of blues music. This is one of those music where I can just like, sit back and relax and just enjoy it. Ain't nothing X-rated or R-rated about them talk about all this nonsense. You know, it just feels good to, to sit back and appreciate the real music that was it back in the day. Because I know what these guys are trying to do is they really want to put the blues to back on the map. And I say there's nothing wrong with that. If, if anything, they should, you know, put it out there. 
and I hope for you viewers out there at least learn to appreciate the music that's that's being made because all these other types of music especially the ones that has nothing to do or has no meaning whatsoever I don't know what it is but it's the fact that every time I listen to these other songs it's, there's no point to it but what comes down to the blues it's just it's just something deep about it it's like it's deep down in your soul that's something people have to learn to appreciate and understand because there's more to it than just just some songs when these guys perform they actually have a meaning they have feeling for it and that's why I'm always so amp up every time I go to their shows because I'm willing to see what they have in store <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.